All right, Mech Warriors, you're out of ammo. What happens next? That's the question that we're going to explore in this vlog. And we're going to kind of look at it from the perspective of heavy mediums, you know, in every weight class, in every weight class in Battletech, like let's say light mechs and medium mechs, the high end tonnage for light mechs and the low end tonnage for medium mechs, those, those lines blur. Um, certainly in the rules, there is a hard cutoff point. Battle value is affected by that to some extent, but it's not as clear cut as one may think. So in exploring the heavy end, heavy echelon and medium mechs bleeding into the heavies and the assaults, that's what we're going to ask this question to. We're going to leave lights out because tactically, if you run out of ammo, you've got your various bug mechs, your stinger, your wasp, you've got the Valkyrie, even though it's not a bug mech, but it's got ammo and lasers. If you're out of ammo, that's no big deal. You're, you're like running and gunning in anyway. Anyway, a light mech is always running like crazy. There are always options with that. But moving into the heavier mechs, where now you've got some tonnage, now you've got some bite, you run dry, what do you do? Now, the first question, of course, depends on the mech itself. Obviously, all energy mechs, um, some various Ost-class mechs, they're, they're going to be pushed aside for the moment. Are we talking about a mech that is a mixed system? So a Warhammer, where what's your ammo? The machine guns, maybe you dump some ammo, you've got 10 shots, you're out. You've got the short-range missile six-pack. It is mostly an energy mech. Um, let's look at the Wolverine. Let's, let's look at the Wolverine. You've got lasers, you've got autocannons, you've got missiles. You could run out, you still have a little bit left. So from that perspective, we're looking at mechs that their most of their primary weapons are ammunition-based. Or, or, this is where Fritz is going to pull in the longbow, because it's not a Battletech video, vlog, if we're not pulling in the longbow, right? We all have our favorite mechs. If you are a dedicated support mech, Jaeger mech, Longbow. I'm not even going to count the um, the blackjack. I love the blackjack. You've got the AC2s. If you run dry the AC2s, we've got bigger problems. But even if I run dry with that, I've got a brace and medium lasers. So again, we're putting those aside. Dedicated mechs, dedicated ammo hungry mechs. If you're out of ammo, what do we do? So the first question, of course, physical attacks, especially if it's on the upper echelon. Can I get up there and just start punching away? Um, one of the reasons why I love playing the Banshee, one of the reasons why, well, Charger doesn't run out of ammo, but you've got the little pop gun, media, uh, small lasers, talking about stock. That's one of the reasons I play the Charger for the lulls. I literally charge up there and start smashing, leveraging that tonnage. So if you are a higher end medium mech, or really definitely jumping into the heavies and the assaults, you're out of ammo, you're not out of the game. Or if you're a mech that your primary weapons are ammo based and now you've got a couple of small lasers you're not out of the game at all can you get up there and engage in physical attacks yes or no now in the case of the longbow at that point i could fall back or, or certain other mechs that maybe have a, a medium laser or two which is fine if you're a medium mech but not as an assault mech where the tonnage is primarily tied up in the weapons at that point we switch to survival and i would put survival first and foremost, over making physical attacks. And that's a little bit hard because I'm always out for tabletop glory. Keeping up an initiative, preserving that initiative is key in Battletech. Side note, check out the Mobile HQ. We're going to circle back around um, with that soon, looking at some tips and tricks to keep initiative. We see this when we're fighting Lance versus Lance. I move a piece, you move a piece, or you move a piece, I move a piece, depending on who wins or loses initiative. But as long as we're evenly matched or close to it, even if I lose initiative, I'm at a slight disadvantage, but I'm not overwhelmed. When you start losing material in battle tech, and now you're down two or three or four pieces, never give up the fight, absolutely. But this is part of the command and control structure in the game. Even if you win initiative, your opponent is going to have a tremendous advantage. So we want to preserve that and again, that's why like losing a mech or two of any weight class is a serious, serious problem. Because even if you've got the firepower still up, and even if your opponent's mech was so crippled in the process, if it's up, they still have the initiative sink. So making sure I want to preserve that. I want to preserve that if my longbow runs dry, even if it's not a campaign and it can magically resurrect next turn, 
Can I withdraw? Can I get to a place where it's parked on the back end of the table or far away? So when it's my turn to go, I'm like, okay, Longbow is activating initiative. It's staying in place. That would be my number one aspect. If you run out of ammo, preserve initiative. Number two, close combat. Close combat, get in there. Number three, more so, especially important, the team up. The team up. I mean, you should never be breaking up your lance as much as possible. You want to have overlapping fields of fire. You want to be in three to five hexes per uh, range, three to five hexes bubbles overlapping. I mean, all that kind of lance stuff. But certainly if my mech runs out of ammo and all I have left is like, you know, on my assault mech, two medium lasers, that can at least get base to base with another mech, with another machine and kind of work together to focus my fire, to add my medium lasers or whatever I might have with that other mech combining on a single target, which that's just good fire discipline anyway. If I've got four mechs, I'm going to try and fire on one target and eliminate that one target as opposed to one mech fires on one mech, one mech fires on another, this mech's going to fire on that. But, but again, these are optimal, optimal situations. That's the checklist. At least that's the checklist I try my best to adhere to. But I will say, going for tabletop glory, a lot of times there will be a charge if it's possible, and I will seek to gain glory in close combat. Whether it's chain of command, fixed bayonets, grenades, machine pistols, whether that's Warhammer 40k, bolt pistols and chainswords, or whether that's in battle tech, getting a little bit of that Pacific Rim flavor and vibe in there, and, and definitely with Pacific Rim. But from that perspective, jumping back to battle tech, maintaining discipline as a mech warrior and as your mech commander, preserve initiative, preserve initiative. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Maybe you've got a restock truck on the way. You're running low. You got the warning lights flashing. You're out of ammo. Where do you go? What do you do at that point? 